In the year 2018, when our team was on our way to electrify the remote Zanskar village of Hanamer via the frozen Chatter Trek, the villagers of Ralakung village who were waiting for us to meet with a request to electrify their village as well. <laughs> To fulfill their wish, 18 people from 11 countries came together to electrify one of the most remote villages of the Zanskar Valley, the village of Ralakung. It's not an easy ride to Zanskar. It takes at least two days for a vehicle on a mountain gravel road to reach Zanskar from Leh. As part of the expedition, our expedition team members also set up the solar-powered Himalayan Innovation Center to provide digital education access for the two schools at Skyagam and Fay Village. Yeah! Ralakung village is one of the most remote villages in Ladakh. It takes two days of arduous trek to reach this village from village Fay, which acts as base camp. The local villagers from Ralakung village also came to Fay to support and show their gesture for our initiative and carried the solar equipment to the village. On the first day of the trek, we climbed up the base of First Pass, where we set up our night camp at an altitude of 4,700 meters. The trek was not easy for our team, as we had to cross two passes with a maximum altitude of 5,200 meters to finally reach the village. The conditions can't be much more tougher, but everyone is bearing through it. And it just goes to show the power of human will. If you really have it in your heart to do something, whatever the conditions may be, the human spirit keeps going forward. People were so open and so hardly. And I'm just wondering, we just don't deserve that. Right? They are preparing food and tea and biscuits, and I truly trust they won't have that themselves over the year. And we were just flooded with those things, and flowers and butter and whatever you can imagine. There is literally nothing out here. And so now we're in the summer, so it took us two days to actually hike. But during the winter, the passes are closed. Uh, which means that they actually have to hike 45 days on a frozen river to actually get to uh, a village where they have a, a clinic if they need to go. The villagers of Ralakung are mainly dependent on their livestock and agriculture for their livelihood. There are no significant income opportunities for them at the village. Ralakung Village is also known for its dairy products such as yak butter, milk and cheese. For me electricity is something we take for granted because I've grown up with it and so it's always been an option to be able to turn the lights on at night, turn the TV on, turn the computers on and these people don't have it. So this is all the details in the local language as well as in picture. As per the instructions given to our team members, the team started installing and setting up the solar microgrid for each and every house.
the one thing that um, I really liked was that we're bringing happiness to people we don't know and uh, we'll probably never meet and that is a weird feeling. After two days of hard work, finally our expedition team and the villagers gathered together to witness the magic. Should we switch on the light? Yeah! It was all like being in a movie somehow and being pulled into that very magic um, situation. So there was that old lady um, honored to switch on the light and from there it was like switching off my brain somehow. We had like the experiences of becoming more homogeneous in a way, uh, but I think that this is truly the most authentic and unique experience that I've, that I've had. That I've had. Hey! 